How do you know the bride and groom? I know Connor and Ash from Luther. Um, I met Ashley when I signed up to play basketball. These two guys kind of came into the room, uh, and it was actually Blake and Connor. Um, and they were just kind of goofy. <laughs> I remember them just being goofy. Um, that's when I originally met, met Connor. I know Ashley and Connor from Luther College. I am one of Connor's bestest menches, or his best man, if you want to call it that way. Ashley is my older sister, and Connor is my new brother. I am a friend from Luther College of both uh, Ashley and Connor. I met Ashley my freshman year of college. We were both math majors, so we had a lot of the same courses. She's been one of my best friends ever since. I am the brother of the groom, the youngest brother. I went to Luther College with Ashley and Connor, and I played basketball with Ashley. I know the groom because uh, we met in eighth grade playing football, and we were both terrible. Ashley is my oldest sister. Uh, I've known Connor since fourth grade. We were on the same team uh, for a long, long, long time. I met him uh, during our work study. Our freshman year, we both worked on the grounds crew. I met Tavis our first semester at Luther College. I know uh, Connor from being his older, younger brother. Yeah, I first met Ashley. We both played basketball together, but became great friends off the court. Yeah, I'm Connor's little sister. I was the only Gets girl until now, so let's go Ash. I met Ashley during my other work study, um, where I worked at the Spanish table. I am Connor's older brother, and I have also been Facebook friends with Ashley for about two weeks. I, too, fell in love with Connor when um, Ashley would ditch both of us at the bar and we would just like be annihilating the dance move. Connor introduced us to Ashley at uh, either Roscoe's or Bible study. I can't remember which story we're going with. First time I met Ashley was uh, his sophomore year, I think, and we were getting a tour of the dorms. And as we were getting a tour, uh, some random uh, basketball girl walked up and that's kind of how we introduced her, was a basketball girl, but ended up actually being Ashley. A funny story about the bride and groom, I think that just about any time that my wife and I get to go on a double date with the two of them, at some point during the evening, without fail, Ashley will stop the middle of the conversation and say, guys, I'm just so happy that you're our friends. You're like our best friends. And I'll look over at Connor at that point and he'll just be like, you said you weren't going to do this. You said you weren't going to do this. You do this every time. A funny story about Ashley is senior year decided that she looked too pretty to go to the library. So we just took off down the driveway and Ashley started running after us saying, you guys, you guys. A uh, funny story I have about Connor. He got a care package. Uh, what he told us was a bag of cold orange chicken. We're like, that's gross. Uh, and then three weeks later, he told us that it was just puff popcorn covering caramel corn. A funny story I have of Ashley is that she has this blanket that she'll call purple and whenever purple comes out she'll wrap her whole body in purple and kind of just walk around. So a funny story about Connor, instead of honking the horn he accidentally put the car in park and the dump truck hit the front of the car and pushed the car about five feet and I was like Connor I gotta go to soccer practice, see you later and I ditched him. My favorite stories uh, about the bride actually is when we, this is our second time ever meeting Ashley uh, and we were playing a game in our living room which considered her jumping on top of the couch and my parents walked through the door and she immediately blamed it on me. Who wears the pants in the relationship? Easy, Joanna. Uh, absolutely Joanna. Definitely Joanna. But I'd have to say Ashley because considering most of my life Connor never wore pants. I think they both wear pants. Um, they're both very respectful to each other. They listen to each other. You know, they both wear the pants. If I had to say who, it would be Tavis by a hair. However, she doesn't really wear pants, per se. No, you, no here's my answer. They both share a leg of a very chic, high fashion, black jumpsuit. When I knew that Connor and Ashley were gonna get married was when Connor came with me to Iceland, he went into his luggage and got a letter, a different letter every day from Ashley. Well, I actually did not know Connor was going to propose. I practically followed the two of them onto the bridge and almost ruined it all, but my mom pulled my arm back and then I looked around weirdly and I caught on and I instantly started sobbing. So 
Almost ruined the proposal, but didn't. I was in Colorado on a vacation when I learned that uh, Connor had proposed. He called me. Uh, I think I was on a hike, and um, he said that he had proposed. Connor uh, was and is seemingly able to tolerate Ashley's somehow always dirty feet. And if you can overlook that, I mean, Jesus. Of course he got the ring. I knew because there was no way that he was going to find anyone better for him than Ashley. She was perfect for him in every way, and she she made him the happiest he could be. I found out that Connor proposed to Ashley when I found a voicemail on my phone, and in true Ashley form, she said, Hey Hales, just wanted to let you know, Con proposed. Hi, I hope you're having a good night. Um, I was just calling because Connor proposed. And I wanted to tell you, um, our family just had dinner tonight, and there's a beautiful park in the back, and he took me kind of up on this little bridge, shaking the whole way, voice starting, couldn't, un couldn't understand anything, and held the ring box upside down, felt like he was going to probably throw up, but it was great. And yeah, I'm really happy, and I was happy to have our family there. Advice for Ashley and Connor. The obvious one is obviously Connor always have ice cream on hand for Ashley. And Connor, just know that if Ashley ever gets a little mad, just give her purple and she'll be all better. I'm so excited to see um, how God uses both of you um, and as how he uses your relationship to further his kingdom. Best piece of advice, especially when things get busy later on, uh, keep working to outserve each other and um, work for each other and just love each other throughout all the busy times that you're going to go through. Advice that I was given uh, by Connor was uh, don't sweat the petty things and don't pet the sweaty things. For Ash, if Connor's ever upset, just have Keener on speed dial. But Connor, remember, Ashley is always correct. My advice to you is don't forget to budget at least $500 a month at minimum for Ashley's pathological ice cream habit. Don't forget to travel. Traveling together um, with, with the love of, of your life is a pretty amazing experience. Stay grounded in the Lord and all the blessings that he has for you guys. Just continue to make each other laugh every single day. Congratulations, you two lovebirds. This is super exciting. I'm happy for both of you. What a fun wedding. Just look around, take it all in. What a great event. So excited for you guys. Congratulations. Yeah, we're, we're really happy to include Ashley into our family. Congratulations, Ashley and Connor. We are so excited for you. Uh, we've loved being your friends throughout your time dating and throughout your time uh, as an engaged couple. I am so honored to be a part of your special day. Congratulations, you two. You're the perfect pair. I love you both. Uh, I wish you nothing but the best. I can't wait to celebrate you two, and it's been a long time coming, and uh, I, we love you both. I'm so happy for the both of you, and congratulations, and I can't wait to be a part of the rest of your future. I'm very excited for it all. I love you guys. Congrats to the couple. I love you so much, and I'm so excited for the life that you're going to have with lots of puppies, ice cream, and love. You are the most caring and gentle person that I know. You always treat everyone so well. Since I have been with you, I aspire to make others feel as special as you make me feel every day. Your patience and kindness make me a better person. I am so lucky to get to start my life with you today as Mrs. Getz. I look forward to all of the love, adventures, and friendship that we will share together. One of my favorite things to do with you, Ashley, is to make you laugh and to make you smile. It's one of the best things that I can do and it makes me happier than you'll ever know just like you make me happier than you'll ever know. I am so excited to spend the rest of my life with you and I can't wait to call you my wife. Go on countless adventures with you and make sure that you are the happiest girl in the entire world. I love you so much. <laughs>